Learning the man behind the campus massacre in Oregon grew up here in the Southland. Shocked. Shocked is all I can say. As President Obama wastes no time pleading for change. It cannot be this easy for somebody who wants to inflict harm on other people to get his or her hands on a gun. Good evening, I'm Paul Majors. And I'm Pat Harvey. Nine people were gunned down today at Umpqua Community College in Roseburg, Oregon. The community gathered for a vigil tonight on the campus that's about 180 miles south of Portland. The shooter is also dead. That man, 26-year-old Chris Harper Mercer, grew up in the Southland. Our team coverage begins with CBS 2's Peter Doubt in Tarzana, where he spoke to Harper Mercer's family. Peter. Pat, just moments ago, the father and stepsister of Chris Harper Mercer came outside their home here to share their grief and their shock. Tonight, the father of 26-year-old Chris Harper Mercer speaking out after learning the news of the massacre involving his son. Shocked. Shocked is all I can say. I can't answer any questions right now. I don't want to answer any questions right now. Obviously, it's been a devastating day. I'm actually still shaking, and my mom's in there crying, and I don't know what to do. We also spoke with Harper Mercer's stepsister, who says they only met a few times since her mother married his father a few years ago, but she described him as caring and supportive. He All he ever did was put everyone before himself. He wanted everyone to be happy, and no matter if he was sad or mad, he would always try to cheer up everybody. Harper Mercer was born in the U.K. and moved to the U.S. as a young boy. We're told he moved to Oregon a few years ago after spending several years in Torrance with his mom, where neighbors say he kept mostly to himself. He really didn't open up to anybody. He just stayed to himself. His MySpace page shows him holding a gun and includes pictures of the IRA and other armed people. Posts on an online blog that appear to belong to Mercer reference multiple shootings, including one in Virginia that recently left a TV news reporter and cameraman dead. He wrote about the killer, Vester Flanagan, saying, I have noticed that so many people like Flanagan are alone and unknown, yet when they spill a little blood, the whole world knows who they are. Seems like the more people you kill, the more you're in the spotlight. An online dating profile that belongs to Harper Mercer lists his hobbies and interests as internet and killing zombies. The profile also says he is mixed race, Republican and not religious. His stepsister is skeptical he wanted to kill. It doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound like something he would have to go through. He, he didn't have to go through that. And the last posting on Harper Mercer's blog was Wednesday when a documentary about the shooting massacre in Newtown was posted. Patton Paul. All right, thank you, Peter.